Hello there everybody, this is just a quick review of my new motorbike, it's a Suzuki GSX 1250 FA L6, it's a 2016 model, and I've had the bike now for two weeks, bought it brand new, and it was an absolute bargain in my opinion, it was £7,300 on the road, that included 12 months road tax, 3 years unlimited mileage warranty, AA roadside assistance. Um, compared to the other bikes in this class, it's probably about £3,000 cheaper. It comes with ABS as standard, and that's all the electronics that you get for your money, which is understandable at that price. Um, the bike itself, then, it's a 1255cc engine, it's an inline four liquid cooled. It puts out a um, 95 brake horsepower, about 5,500 RPM. Majority of the torque, which is 108 newton meters, comes in at 3,500 RPM. So you've got all the grunt down at the lower range of the revs, which is pretty much ideal for touring. I'm just in the middle of running the bike in at the moment, so it's only done a couple of hundred miles. I think it's actually only done about 130 miles. So just keeping it to about four and a half thousand revs and um, treating it with a bit of respect. I know these engines are pretty much bulletproof, but I wanted to run it in properly and make sure uh, I get a good life out of the engine. So looking at some of the features on the bike then. At the front you've got twin discs, Tokiko uh, twin stoppers. I've given them a good try out and they're absolutely fantastic. So they're well within the capabilities of the bike. As I said, you've got the inline 4 1255 cc motor, which is an absolute peach. It's gorgeous to ride with. Effortless grunt wherever you are in the lower revs or whatever gear you're in. You just pull away. And it's like a bit of a steam train really, but obviously running it in, not felt the full power of it yet. Um, I suppose the only thing I don't like about this bike really is the big beam cap exhaust. It's a bit of a beast that. So that might be getting changed next year. Other than that, I think the bike's an absolute fantastic machine. It really is. It's got the 180 width back tyre on it. So not the full Superbike 190s, but 180. So that's good enough for me to do a bit of scratching around the country lanes on. Um, as I've paid so little for the bike, a couple of extras fitted. I've had a uh, data tool alarm fitted, which is awesome. And one of the best things is this Oxford heating grips. I've never used these before, but they are absolutely fantastic. I can't believe how much heat they put out. Even on 50%, it, it's keeping your hands really nice and warm. Oh yeah, that's the back in a nutshell. 1255 cc is a beast. There to keep all my bits and bobs in. I'm going to start the bike up now to find the alarm fob, which is a dongle thing. Right, here we go. So, turn the alarm off. Start this bad boy up. Now, you've got to pull the clutch in for this, so this is going to be really tricky. Clutch in. Probably an aftermarket can will finish a bike off. A bit of noise, but let people know that you're coming. That's the interesting display. Quite comprehensive. You've got an analogue rev counter, you've got a gear indication to tell you which gear you're in. Obviously, the speedo is digital. Uh, fuel gauge. You've got three trip meters, A, B, and also one that comes on when you um, go into reserve. Obviously, on the left-hand side there, you've got a bank of lights, which tell you all sorts about, you know, your, uh, whether you're in neutral or not, ABS, whether that's kicking in. The red light there is your oil indicator light to let you know whether you've got enough oil or not. And this one down here, uh, that light there, you can set it for whatever RPM you want to come up come on as a flashing red light to let you know that you've exceeded it. Probably handy for when you're running it in. I'm not using it because I just
just you get the feel of where you're up to with the bike. So yeah, all in all, the 2016 1250 FA, an absolute bargain if you wanted to get yourself a bike now for just over seven grand. Instead of picking up a second hand bike that you don't know how it's been treated, get yourself a brand new one of these, run it in properly, it'll last you for years. It does about 45 to the gallon, and if you're giving it the beans it'll probably do about 35, but at the moment I'm getting about 100, I reckon it'll do about 170 to the tank. I filled it up this morning and um, I put a tanners within it, and that's, that's about 130 miles, so... So that's it for this short review, hope it's been helpful for you, if there's any questions on the bike or how I'm running it in etc etc just give me a shout and I'll be pleased to answer them. Thank you and goodbye, enjoy your riding.